On display at the International Consumer Electronics Show in January was the Zazi. Connected to an app on a smartphone or tablet, it is attached to a ring, necklace, or bracelet, and can be set to vibrate and flash a pre-programmed image to alert the wearer that they are receiving a call, text, or email. Modular jewelry took center stage at this year's Inhorgenta Trade Fair in Munich. Adding charms to customize the look, that's passy. The trend this year is jewelry that is fully transformable. This ring by Jor Hans can switch from a white gold to a diamond face with a simple quick click or a twist. The pendant of this necklace, also by Jor Hans, can be turned to reveal different looks. The star of the Jor Hans collection was this 45,000 euro necklace that comes with a pendant that can be turned to reveal a heart-shaped ruby stone. Even wedding rings went modular this year. The ring for women, which comes in a matching set by German jeweler Jessner, can be bought for the wedding, and then memoir rings can be added later to mark, for example, an anniversary or birth of a child. But diamonds will always be a girl's best friend, and this year they simply had to be blue. This is the blue, thought to be the largest and most vivid blue diamond in the world. It was auctioned by Christie's in May and fetched a cool 14 million pounds. It is the largest vivid blue diamond to have ever appeared on the auction market. Over the last 30, 35 years, only five vivid blue diamonds over 10 carats have appeared at auction. So this weighing 13.22 carats is an exceptional stone. This architectural design was a highlight at this year's India International Jewelry Show in Mumbai. This Taj Mahal necklace was created by Indian jewelry brand Katia Jewels. Using gold and the mother of pearl to give the look of the marble that's used for the real Taj Mahal is priced at 25,000 US dollars and took about three months to make. Song Yatian, CCTV.